This video is going to be all about gifts. So first things first, we need to sell a gift. So to sell a gift, I'll simply go to checkout and click the other tab. Then I need to assign it a gift number. So now my gift number has been assigned. I can do up to 20 digits. And then I assign it a gift amount. I can put in a recipient and an expiration date. If I click on the year, I can do one year out and then today, uh, March 27th. And I can also select a worker who should receive credit for selling this gift certificate and click add to ticket. So now the gift value is over here on the receipt and we'll need to pay for it. So now the gift is paid for on our completed ticket. If I need to use my gift, I'll go ahead and click checkout and I'll select a service and click add to ticket. And then I can also add products and add to ticket. And then I go to payments and I select gift redeem and I enter the gift number and click add to ticket. If the gifts have a barcode scan or a magnetic strip, you could use the, that also. Okay, so now we have applied $50 to our $100 balance on that gift card. Another function we have is to be able to reload that gift card. So to reload, I go to other, I enter the gift number and the amount we'd like to reload onto the card and click add to ticket. It'll confirm that this card is in use and the current balance is $50. And it will confirm that I wanna add that $15 to this gift card. I can go ahead and click yes, and then go to payments and click cash and pay for that $15 added to the gift card. If I wanna see the history of the gift card or more information, I can go to the navigation bar and hit gift balances or select gift balances from my home screen. From here, I can search by a gift number, a recipient name, or a purchaser name. Since I know my gift number, I'll go ahead and enter it and click search. From here, I can see the recipient, the purchaser, the gift number, the amount, the current balance, the date it was issued, the date it expires, and the associated tickets where it was issued or reloaded. To view more information on this, I can click on the number and it will display the series of actions that have happened with this gift card. So I can see that it was issued for $100 on this ticket, it was used for $50 on this ticket, and then it was reloaded for $15 on this ticket, and the remaining balance is $65.